forget to subscribe to my channel and while you're at it, click the bell to be notified of future videos. This block is called Breaking Rules, finishes at 12 inches. The diagram is here. We have four patch units and just plain square units. This is a four by four grid, so we are four across and four down. And the unit in each grid finishes at three inches because we have four across, so three times four is 12. And, th and the same thing going down. Here are four blocks set block to block. This is another quilt block from the Stitch Pink 2020 quilt from Moda Fabrics. And I have a, I did this quilt in 2020 when I had my quilt shop and I sold kits to it and I made a, I made one of the quilts and it was hanging in the retreat house. So here's a short little video that uh, describes the quilt. This is the Stitch Pink quilt designed by Moda Fabrics using um, fabrics from the Grunge collection. And there are 30 blocks, 30 12 inch blocks in the quilt. And in October, which is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, starting October 1st, you'll go to Moda's website and you'll be able to download a block pattern each day. So day one, you'll download the first block pattern, day two the second, and it goes like that through uh, the 30th of October. And the 31st of October you'll have the finishing instructions. It was really fun to do this quilt. It was easy to put together and I found that just doing one block at a time, so cut out a block then piece the block. Don't try to do any speed piecing or anything because that helped me out. And You can see the binding is done in two different fabrics and this quilt has been quilted. So let's zoom in on it. So it's a really fun quilt to do. I only changed out one block and it's this block down here on day 29. Um, since I'm making this quilt in honor of my mother, Marie Vetrano, she was an awesome cross stitcher. So this block to me looked like cross stitching. So I changed out that block and put that one in. Let's go to the block. We only have two patches and they're both squares. Patch A is a one and a half inch finished square. We cut two inch squares. We'll need 16 patches each of the uh, light and the dark fabric. Here are the AccuQuilt dies that will cut this. You can either cut patches or you can do strip piecing. And we're going to do strip piecing in this demo. And patch B is a three inch finished square you cut three and a half inch squares and you need eight patches of the medium fabric. So here are the cutting instructions. We'll cut 16 two inch squares or you'll cut one two inch by 33 inches for strip piecing and you'll do the background and the dark fabric for the strip piecing. So if you cut squares, cut squares for both of them. And if you do strip piecing, do a strip for each of them and then the eight three and a half inch squares. Here are the fabrics I've chosen. I'm doing strip piecing for the four patch units and I have, I had a fat quarter I believe, or just some scraps. I have two strips instead of one strip of the background and the dark fabric. So we'll just take the fabrics and put them together, right sides together, stitch along the length, and press the seams open. Here are my two strip sets done. You might have one long one. I always laid on the cutting mat and laid against one of the lines to check to make sure that it's straight. If it's a little curvy, then take it back to the ironing board and maybe give it a little more starch or something and kind of wiggle it around until it, it's pretty straight. So what I'm going to do is stack these slightly. I'm not going to stack over any seam lines. And I'm going to use my stripology ruler. You lay the ruler on top. I'm going to cut off the selvage edge so I need to move it over some. Then I'm lining up one of the lines at the bottom of the fabric. And now we're going to cut two inch segments, 16 of them. Now we take off the selvage edges, and so now we have our, our 16 
segments. We're going to take two of these and sew them together like this into a four patch and then you'll have eight four patch units. Now we just look at our diagram and take our four patches and our plain squares and lay out the block. We're just going to alternate the four patches with the plain patches and pay attention to the placement of the dark fabrics. Now you have four rows and four units in each row. So stitch the first row together, second, third, and fourth. Press your seams and then stitch your rows together. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and while you're at it, click the bell to be notified of future videos.